Hi, I'm Chris Gadowski. I'm honored to serve as the superintendent for the Adams Call Five Star Schools. Know that it's a busy time of year. So much appreciate you spending a minute or two with me to talk about some of the challenges we have here in Adams 12 when it comes to funding and to give you some explanation about why. The short answer is that starting in 2009, our state legislature has not funded K-12 education in the way that they had been and had committed to years ago in Amendment 23. They simply haven't been able to keep up with the rate of inflation and the student growth occurring all throughout our state, including here in Adams 12. When you add it all together, since 2009, we've received about $240 million less in funding than we otherwise should have. This current year alone, that's $39 million less than we should have been receiving for our kids. On a per pupil basis, what's that add up to? Right now, this year, it's $960 per kid that we're not getting. And so when you look at a typical elementary school in our system, that means they're a half million dollars short in the funding that they would have had even six years ago to have good teachers, adequate programming, technology materials to support kids. We know that this is not a sustainable path, and yet we know in the budget forecast for next year, the legislature is currently looking at a 1% increase for our school funding. That's simply not gonna be enough to keep up with the cost of health insurance increases and the growing cost of other goods and services in a very competitive environment. We know moving forward that this system is not sustainable. We've got to change the funding model and the resources that we have available to serve kids in our community. And so I'm tremendously proud of the work that folks have done in this system the last six years to safely transport kids to school, to clean buildings and make them look first rate and inviting, to bring their A game each and every day, every classroom, to serving kids, teaching them, inspiring them, preparing them for college and career. I know that we can't continue that without additional money in the door. And so I very much ask you to join us as PTO members, parents, teachers, community members, business, working together, we can continue to make this system an outstanding one that's the core of the community. And so that every kid continues to have in the future a great experience in every classroom every day in Adams 12.